Okay, so <clears throat> a little while back I had did a little review on the iPad version of Snapseed uh, and I said that I would uh, show you a little bit about <clears throat> what it uh, is like on the computer. So uh, I have a Mac, uh, an iMac computer, and I am just going to open up Snapseed for us right now. So I'll just Snapseed <clears throat> and this should fire up shortly. Alright, so here's Snapseed right here. Uh, and if you are used to or have used in previous the iPad or iMac version, you'll see on the left hand side, so up in this area here, uh, a lot of the same controls or same little areas, I guess, that the iPad or iPhone would have. Uh, so what I'm going to do is see, let's drag this over a little bit, and I will grab uh, I put up some, oh there they are, demo content here, so I'm just going to move this off to the side, actually put it on my other display, and we will bring one. So all I do is I drag the file and I bring it over here. So you'll see it says drag photo here to start, which is what I'm going to do. So there it is. this is a <coughs> shot that I took, uh, so it's a live shot. Um, so very similar to what the iPad version can do, you'll see over here you have a tune image. So when you click on that it actually comes out and there's an automatic. So you can click on that to see what it's going to do. So you can see that it brightened it. Now brightening here, I can understand why I wanted to, but my ISO in this one was about 3200. So you'll see a lot of noise in and around this area. There's also this lovely little compare button up here. So if I click on it, it shows me, I got to click and hold. So if you click and hold, you'll see before and after, right? So I can see I want to cancel that, <clears throat> so it'll take that away. But you do have, which I like, is you'll have these little ones, like there's a neutral and a dark and a moody and some preset ones, which are kind of neat. Um, or you can add, again, like on the Mac, or sorry, the iPad or iPhone, the control points. So if I click this, it allows me to put a point. So if I wanted, I could... I don't know, say I wanted this area here. So you'll see you get a little control point help that pops up. So good enough, you can say don't show this if you don't want to. And you'll get all these. So this is brightness, right? This is size. So as I stretch, you'll get that same kind of color marking, right? So how much you want to grab of that size or that color. So this is my brightness, contrast, and saturation. Now there's not a whole lot in here, but I could try to bring the saturation so I can warm that light up and you'll see it warm up there which is kind of nice I can do my brightness and just push that around if I felt like it you know and my contrast to really get a solid colored light come in there now I don't know if I would want to do this but if I did I could right and again you can put as many of these points in here as you're playing around so you can see I want another contrast or another point and I actually want to you know, play around with the blacks. So I'm going to set a black here and again kind of just stretch this out to where it's really kind of kicking in. And again, I can do the same. So here's like a contrast and really just kind of, you know, play around with that contrast to darken it up or however you want to play with contrast or saturation. Get that yellow coming back up there a little bit if you want. But, you know, personal preference for everybody. Uh, I like it because I can really work on certain areas of this. Um, to get certain points of the photo back up to where I wanted. I'm going to actually take this back, so I'm going to just cancel this. And everything goes back to what it was like. Um, of course, you have your standard crops and straighten. So there's your straighten tool up here. There's your ratio. So if you click on here, it allows you to choose certain ones, 16 by 9, 5, 4, 4, 3s, etc., etc. I'm just going to cancel that. Uh, rotation. There's your angle, so I straighten it up. You can see, which is kind of nice because it does actually show you where it's cropping into the photo. So you can see how much you're going to lose or gain. I guess you're never going to gain. How much you're going to lose. Uh, again, I'm going to cancel this. Details. Uh, details goes in. It's more of your sharpness. So I can sharpen this image right up if I wanted to. Uh, structure, I'm not 100% sure what it's doing. It seems to go after background information somehow. Um, Again, I'm not 100% sure what structure does. If anybody knows, please let me know, because that's would be nice. Um, and then you have the these things called creative adjustments. Now, 
I really like the drama and if you click I don't know if this is the best picture for drama but if you click on it you'll see that it kind of goes through and it I don't know it kind of looks at the the highlights and the, the mids or the shadows and plays around with them and again you have different ones here that you can play with um, but probably not the best picture I mean if I have a different picture I might show that one later um, but even that one's not bad compared to the original it just took a little bit of color out of it which was kind of nice uh, if you don't like the presets, you can come in here and just manually adjust, right? You just click on one of these and drag them around, which is kind of nice. Again, I'm going to cancel these. Um, frames, well, I'm sure you know what frames is. Frames is going to come in here and allow you to resize your frame, uh, different kind of spreads on your frame, and a, a grunge. Now, what you'll see is there's these ones aren't doing a whole lot. Now, there's these types, and if you go to type, you can actually see what kind of frame it is. So this one here is a, like a tattered edge. Uh, this one here is a little less tattered. Um, this one's kind of a, the black is bleeding into the white. Um, or if you don't like, you're really not sure, you can just hit the shuffle button and it'll kind of just randomly grab one for you if you like if you like frames. So that's kind of cool. Again, cancel. Um, grunge is kind of neat. So if you got that shot with... Uh, you kind of want to give it that overlay. You can click on these and you'll see you get these pattern overlays that go around it, right? And this this allows you to actually shift how much you're going to push that overlay into. So if I push that really out, it brightens that. or It just gives it a little bit of a different effect. And you'll see, especially you'll see in, like in the bottom corners there, that this grunge is actually doing a little bit of a, almost like a blur vignette on the corners around it. So I can push that blur out. Right, so I can really focus on what I want to have, and I can move that point around. So if I wanted to focus more on them and blur everything out, I could. Kind of a neat effect. Um, and again, you do have different textures. You can kind of come in here and play around with the different textures you want. Or there's just this nice little shuffle, so you can kind of go through them and find that neat one that you love. Right. So see, I wanted that one. That'd be kind of cool. All right. So. <clears throat> That's the other thing. Now, of course, you have Vintage, which is very similar to Grunge. It's just that it kind of gives it that old look. And again, if you look up here, you'll have Miles, Dizzy, Charlie. You know, I can just click on them and get these old kind of filtered looks on them. Um, kind of like your Instagram type stuff for your phone and things like that. It gives it that old look, if you like. Um, but kind of cool. A lot of this is it's really nice because it's really fast, right? One, one click doing. Um, the other one I like is the center focus. So center focus allows me to, similar to what grunge does, but I can actually, you know, really just focus on a spot and you'll see everything else just kind of fades out. So that's kind of neat. I, I kind of like that one. Uh, and you'll see it's stronger weak, so you can kind of play in that area there, right? So kind of cool. Um, last one that I like, there's a tilt shift. Anybody who knows tilt shift knows what that does. Is the black and white. Uh, black and white can be sometimes tricky to get what you like, and it's neat to just kind of, you know, click on them to see, give you kind of cool effects and see how they how they work, right? Like, I like that. It kind of has that old, old rock style, and I can I can play around with my brightness to kind of give it that look that I want. And when I'm done, all I do is I, I don't even know where I go. Okay, so I say apply, and you'll see it apply this. So it applies the filter. And once the filter is applied, all I do is I click up here, and I have my likes little save. It's going to ask me where I want to save it. It always tags it with Snapseed at the end by default. Click and save. And then lastly, you'll see that there's a print. There's a full screen for Lion users. Uh, up here is a share your photos. So you can send this to Flickr, Facebook, or mail it. Um, but that's a that's a brief brief rundown of of Snapseed. If you have any questions or anything on it, just uh, feel free to message me or leave a comment on the video and uh, I'll see what I can do. Alright, talk to you guys later. Ciao.